everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today we're going to be talking about ratios. A ratio looks like this. Two numbers separated by a colon, but what does it mean? Ratios compare two quantities to each other. In this case, for every one of something, we have three of something. So for example, the first number in this ratio could represent children and the second number could represent cookies. This would mean there were three cookies for every child. If we knew this was the correct ratio and we had five children, we would need to multiply both of these numbers by five to find out how many children and how many cookies. So one times five is five and three times five is 15. So our ratio would then look like this. You could also write this ratio as 5, 15, and it would technically mean the same thing. Each child has three cookies, but with five children, there are 15 cookies in total. You can also write ratios as fractions. They just look like this instead. If you want to practice using ratios and become more familiar with them, these differentiated worksheets from Twinkle are a great place to start. They aim to teach learners how to write ratio statements and use multiplication and division facts to work out alternative statements. There's a nice variety of activities to get learners thinking about ratios in different ways. That's all for now, but if you'd like to learn more about ratios, there are some great educational resources available on the Twinkle website, so make sure you have a browse around. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.